Morning, YouTubers. We have beef over here. Mm -hmm. Shadows of the Warrior. I'm going to ask some medical questions to beef. She's starting to be a nurse. See if you know any of these answers and comment below. She's got to probably stop. A nurse is caring for a patient with MRSA. Mm. So wearing a gown and gloves, when should they dispose of the gown and gloves to go care for another patient? A, in the hallway, B, in the current patient's room, C, in the break room, or D, in the next patient's room before touching them? In the hallway? Like right as you leave their room? <laughs> In, in the current room. patient's room, by disposing of the gown and gloves in the patient's room with MRSA, it lowers the chance of spreading the infection to staff or other patients. Okay, fair enough. But how does that stop it going to you? I'm if not you... a nurse. Because <laughs> <laughs> when we're doing it, actually, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to. Okay. Don't know. That's right. Next one. <laughs> okay. After receiving an antibiotic, a patient is developing hives. What are they experiencing? A, drug allergy. B, oh boy, drug I-D-I-O-S-Y necrosis or whatever I say. Or C, drug tolerance. Or D, drug syningitis. You can read the line before I... I'm not good with some of these words. Oh, I'm not meaning... Drug allergy? She's saying drug allergy. Yay! Yay. Um, taking a drug, you can experience a rash, hives, or even difficulty breathing. This is a result of a great... Isn't that anaphylaxis? No. Different. Okay. You can have like a reaction to something like an adverse reaction, but then you can have anaphylaxis. That's why she's a nurse. I think I'll stick to the forensic lab. <laughs> I deal with dead people. She deals with the live ones. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Okay. When should a nurse weigh a patient to obtain the most accurate weight? A, right after eating, B, two to three hours after eating, C, at the same time every day, or D, right when they wake up. I reckon, I reckon, I've got, I know I'm my one, but I'll see if I'm right. Uh, in the morning, but at the same time every day, so it's like both of them, in the morning. At the same time every no, day? No, 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 in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, right after they wake up. Oh, that one? Yeah. That's what I was going to pick. Yay! The nurse should weigh the patient at the same time every day. Most likely the patient will be in similar circumstances as the day before and so on. No, I got it wrong. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I was oh. like, well, but how do you know, even if you do it at the same time every day, they could have just... Oops, I read that wrong. They could have just had food. Yeah, I want to saw that one. Mm. Okay. I suck. Okay, try again. You want the next one? If a resident is suffering from chest pains, do all of the following except which one? Do you want me to read that one again? Mm, no. A, call for immediate help. B, offer support and reassurance. C, place them in a downright position and have them take small sips of water. Or D, remain downright and act calm. Downright position. Hmm? Downright. What, just lying flat on their back? I think so. Remain and act calm. Small sips of water. I don't know. Well, you when I don't know talk? because you would offer your support and reassurance so that you would do. Do all the following Remain except except for which water. one? So it's got to be the first or the third. But well, wait, you wait, would wait, do wait, wait. because I don't know. If you I would call for it. help. Well, you would offer support and reassurance. You remain at C. I'd think it would be C. Remain place it yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one you wanted? Do you yeah, but I don't know. Just press C. This one. Because you wouldn't immediately. Well, that yes, isn't it? Place yeah. in a downright position and have you them to change. If a patient is suffering from chest pains, no food or drink should be consumed until they are assessed assessed by a doctor. They should also not be put in a prone position when experiencing chest pains. Mm. Had enough questions yet, or you want to give you another one? No, they're just like not exactly fully accurate. Like you wouldn't call for help like the second they say that because you don't know what's going on. So you would do like vital signs first and get some clinical observations before you actually go. This person's not alright, you know. See, it has to be okay. Um, 
When doing documentation, which of the following qualities are relevant? A, thoroughness, B, accuracy, C, organization, or D, all of the above? All of the above. Yay. Documentation must leave no room for interpretation. The information must be thorough, accurate, and organized for anyone who will be reading it in the future. Mm -hmm. good. Okay. Which of the following would be the best option to decrease swelling? A, heat compression, B, moist bandages, C, dry bandage pressure, or D, cold compression? Cold compression. The best one. Yeah. Yay! To reduce swelling, cold packs are used. Heat compressions are normally used when trying to reduce pain, like in the back. Mm. You want any more questions? Mm. <laughs> How long should a nurse wait before taking a patient's temperature orally after they just finished a cold drink? A, immediately as a cold drink would not affect an oral thermometer. B, three to five minutes after the drink was finished. C, 15 minutes after the drink was finished. Or D, 20 to 30 minutes after the drink was finished. I don't know. Um, even I don't know this one. It wouldn't be 20 to 30 minutes. That's a bit excessive. And even 15 is a bit... I'd say three to five, yeah, but I'm so not a nurse. That three one? Three to five, yeah. You oh, got it shit. wrong. 15. 15 minutes after the drink was finished, the oral cavity needs a little time to return to a more accurate temperature. The 15 minutes should be enough time to allow that to happen. Just beep that one. We're not allowed to swear on YouTube. What? What did I say? Sugar. When? <laughs> Just before. Uh -huh. You went sugar. We're not allowed to. Mm. Okay. Okay. What is a normal internal body temperature? A. 37. 37. Yeah, I haven't even read them out to the people yet. A. 37. B. 37.7. C. 35.6. Or D. 38. Yeah, you were saying 37. Can I give us the answer? Hello. We killed the computer. Yes. Mm -hmm. The average body temperature is normally 37. If your temperature goes over 38, you have. An illness or infection. Do you want me to stop now? No. Oh, she's getting excited. We're at, what, seven minutes? Okay. What is hypertension? A medical term for A, high, high blood pressure, pressure B, high anxiety, C, tense muscles, mm. D, high stress. She, she doesn't give me a chance to finish. What? High blood pressure. Mm. Yes, she got that correct. It's a medical term for high blood pressure is called hypertension. When the blood pressure is low and it's called hypotension. What's the thing is that? Keep going. Yeah. While preparing a sterile field, she knows this so well, for a dressing change, which of the following constitutes a break in the sterile technique? A, not using a sterile gloves to touch the outside wrapper of sterilized material. B, placing the sterile items into the sterile field. C, placing sterile object on the edge of the sterile field. Or D, using sterile forceps to handle a sterile object instead of a sterile gloves. What? While preparing a sterile field for dressing change. Okay, using sterile forceps to handle a sterile object instead of sterile gloves. No, that wouldn't compromise it. Placing sterile objects on the edge of the sterile field. No. Placing the sterile items into the sterile field. No. So I guess it has to be the first one. I'm not using sterile gloves. Mm. No, placing a sterile object on the edge of a sterile field. But you can, as long as the edges of sterile, sterile part, field are considered to be contaminated. Yeah, like therefore, two centimeters. But if you have like a forceps, you can put it on the edge. Well, because the quiz your is wrong. Hands then. aren't like unless you've got sterile gloves mm -hmm. on, then a different story. But if you're just doing a normal one, then you put the forceps like on the edge, so where you grab is not sterile because your hands aren't sterile, unless you're doing a complex wound dressing, which we haven't done yet. What's your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Comment below. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay. What is palliative care? A. Improving the quality of life for an elderly per patient. No. B. Using surgery to cure a patient. No. C. Improving the quality of life for patients with a serious illness. Or D. 24 hour care for a patient. C. This one. Improving the quality of life. Mm. Palliative care is focused on providing relief from the symptoms and stress of a serious illness. This care has a goal of improving the quality of life of both the patient and their family. Want me to stop yet? 
Yeah. Keep the ghost up. Mm. So she did very well. 